Do you feel like you have to perform perfectly to have confidence in your game when you go compete? Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn. I'm continuing my series on the top 10 confidence killers for athletes. And today I'm gonna to talk about the challenges associated with athletes that are trying to be too perfect when they compete. You're watching Sessions with Doc. One of the big challenges for perfectionists is always feeling like the stars have to align or they can't make any mistakes when they compete to have confidence. As soon as they make a mistake or two, that's when they really start to struggle with their confidence because why? Well, I've talked about this in previous videos. Number one, perfectionists have high expectations and standards for themselves. Number two, they want their performance to feel good to look good, and then they want the desired outcome on each and every play. Number three, they tend to struggle when they make mistakes because they start to question themselves and have that self-doubt. So a lot of the things that I've talked about in these previous videos, perfectionists have because they want everything to be just right. They want to play by the book, they want it to look and feel good, and they don't want to make any mistakes. And then if they veer off of that plan, then they tend to struggle with their confidence. And so perfectionists are constantly struggling back and forth because sometimes it's going to be good and they're going to be like, yeah, I'm on. And other times it's going to be off. I've talked about this in previous videos on my series on perfectionist athletes, which you can watch, is they have that all or none thinking. Either they reach their standards or they don't. So what's the short version then? If you have a perfectionist that you work with, or if you're a perfectionist athlete yourself, how can you do better with performing? All right, so step one is you have to know that you're human. What that means is humans are prone to make mistakes. Think about your idol in your sport, for example. I don't care who it is, you know, Michael Jordan, uh, Annika Sorenstam, whoever it may be, when they perform, do they perform perfectly? No, they don't perform perfectly. So why are you putting those type of expectations on yourself? So first step is have a human performance. The next, and I've talked about this in previous videos, you have to go with the game that you have that day. A lot of perfectionists, what they'll try to do is they'll try to up their game. They'll try to be even better in competition. Well, how can you be better in competition than you are in practice? That's putting more standards and expectations on yourself. Instead, what I want you to think about is having a good to decent performance. Most of the time, athletes aren't at a 10 out of 10. They're not in the zone. They're performing around a 7 or an 8 out of 10. It's sad to say, and I, I know you don't want to hear that, but that's where you want to be. You want to be having that good, decent day or a good, decent, cruddy day, right? As Ken Revisa would say. Go out there and make it happen with what you have instead of trying to elevate your game to a higher level. The next part is dealing with mistakes. You gotta be better with mistakes and allow yourself the luxury of having three or four mistakes per half, for example, because you know you're gonna make errors. It's just part of the game. If you go out and you miss a forehand winner on an easy ball, well, it happens to the best of them, and you have to understand that. So give yourself the luxury of making those mistakes so you can continue to play on with confidence, and it doesn't eat away at your confidence. Hope that was helpful. Jump over to peaksports.com and check out our coaching programs. We do one-on-one -on -one coaching with athletes of all ages, 12 and up. Thanks for watching. If you want to be notified when we upload more mental training videos just like this one, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on my picture in the upper right hand corner of this video. We've teed up two more mental training videos for you to check out today. Please visit our website if you want to learn more about mental training.